one of the many flaws with Calvinism is that it forces you to either not believe certain scriptures or basically see God as an actor who says things he doesn't really mean. For instance, in Deuteronomy, he said, I set before you life and death, therefore choose life. Now, for God to say, I have given you these two choices, and I'm telling you, choose life, that's significant. I don't believe he's acting, I believe he was serious. And the focus shouldn't be on how great he is. We already know how great he is. The focus should be on the fact that we have this kind and gracious and patient and merciful and loving God who has rescued us from all of our, our bad decisions, our poor decisions. He's still there. He remains faithful. Even though we lack faith, this good, kind, and wise God is always there for us. That is what glorifies him. And he's already glorious, so we don't need to glorify him in that way. We glorify him by acknowledging all those good things I just mentioned. In Jesus' name, amen.